it's a pleasure to welcome back to Local Lifestyles, Dr. David Malice of Ohio Valley Eye Institute. And today we're going to talk about the treatment options for correcting vision. Are there many? There's so many options, Angie. We can correct virtually anyone's vision that wants to have their vision corrected. As long as they wear glass or contacts and they can see with glass or contacts, they can see without glass or contacts as well. What are, what are the choices? What's the menu for eye correction? So two of the main things, either we can work on the cornea or we can work inside the lens. So for younger people, the best options are probably LASIK or PRK, which is a laser surgery that basically changes the shape of the cornea. And for older people, and I say older, over 45 or 50, what we like to do for them is we like to replace their lens. Because when you turn about 45 or 50, the lens in your eye gets tired or worn out, and then you can't see up close, so you'd need bifocals. So what we do is we take a lens out of your eye, put a brand new lens in your eye, and the new lens has a built-in trifocal or bifocal to allow distance vision, intermediate vision, and even up-close vision. So it's pretty revolutionary. It, it really is. What's the adjustment period? Because even putting glasses on, your brain's kind of going, what just happened if you've got trifocals or bifocals? There's a pretty quick adjustment period. Most people adapt to it within weeks to months, and most people it's more on the week's order than the month's order. That's great, because that would be what I'd be thinking about. How am I going to make my way through this? Let's talk about uh, downtime and how to prepare for that surgery. So if, if we come see you and you say one of these procedures is the path for us, what's the typical downtime, say, for a lens replacement? So typically what we do is we do a comprehensive eye exam, make sure that there's no other pathology, and then an informed consent process. So you have to learn a little bit about what the options are and what the best option is for each individual patient. If you have astigmatism, we could correct that. If you have nearsightedness, farsightedness, or even presbyopia, we could correct all those things. And really, you get back to your normal activities right away. We have people use drops for a couple days before surgery. The surgery itself only takes about 10 minutes. Really? And then you get back to your normal activities right away. And are you just conscious and up and ready to go? You are. You're not put to sleep for the surgery. Like I say, it's only about 10 minutes. You do get a little medicine if you want it, but you don't have to have it to relax you. And after that, you basically go home, uh, you take a nap, and when you wake up, you generally see quite well. That is, as you said, truly revolutionary. Well, you were talking about as, as we age and when you get to be my age, that's the sentence every doctor begins with <laughs> when they talk to me. Are there things that we can do in our diet, exercise, our daily lives to protect our vision longer? So diet and exercise is important for everything, and the eyes are no exception. And certainly that could help with certain things. But some of the processes in the eyes are almost universal. We can almost tell how old somebody is by how far they have to hold things out when yeah, they get older. It happens, doesn't it? You sort of play the trombone. <laughs> it's universal, right. We can't get around it. Well, you know, it's just so fascinating to think about we had these options. You've seen, let's just talk about in the past few years, the changes that you've seen. It's just a, it's an innovation a minute in your field. It's pretty incredible. When I started in practice, we had radial keratotomy, which now we be considered that? almost malpractice. <laughs> uh, we still use a cousin of it called uh, astigmatic keratotomy to correct astigmatism. But um, then we moved on to PRK, and PRK is a laser surgery. that There's no cutting. Uh, we still use PRK. Then we moved on to LASIK, and then clear lens exchange uh, is the modern frontier for older people especially. All right, if, they, if people are watching, they think they might need your services, just call and make an appointment? It's very easy. We offer free screenings, and they can just call and make an appointment. Yeah. All right. Well, fascinating, all the things we're learning. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. And we will be back right after this with more Local Lifestyles. Don't go away. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Ohio Valley Eye Institute.